My name is David Sweetnam. I'm the Executive Director and Georgian Bay Keeper for Georgian Bay Forever. And Georgian Bay Forever is a community response to the need for uh, research and education on the issues that are affecting Georgian Bay and the Upper Great Lakes. So our work is predominantly looking at the water and the ecosystem in the water and trying to understand what the threats are and the stresses are and where research doesn't exist, we try to provide um, financing money to, uh, to support that research. And where that research does already exist, we really try to bring those messages out to the public and let people know. Because as we um, demonstrated in our Vital Signs event uh, today, the, uh, there's many messages that just have not reached the, the public. And it's important for us to bring those messages out and let people know um, good news if it exists and also some of the bad news and some of the things that are going to motivate people to get out and, and uh, put some energy into taking care of their area. So, Georgian Bay Vital Signs Speaker Series was an event that we put together as part of our educational mandate. Um, Georgian Bay Forever is uh, focused on research and education and there was a need that we perceived in getting a whole bunch of new scientific information out about the ecosystem and the changes that have been occurring in that ecosystem to the, the general public and also to our political leaders and getting people to really be aware of some of the significant impacts and changes that their behaviors have had and that industry has had and that uh, you know recreational use has had and that uh, commercial use has had and so on because we're all responsible for making this better and we really can't do that unless we understand the state of the, uh, the situation, what, what is, uh, is going on right now. And, and uh, the vital signs speakers were from a diverse range. We had people from the policy side, people from the beach health side looking at E. coli levels. We had people talking about the fish communities. We had people talking about uh, um, the actual uh, renegotiation agreement of the Great Lakes water quality. Um, agreement and we had the head of the, uh, the IJC, the International Joint Commission, whose role is to make sure that the Canadian and US governments are advised as to how to manage these resources and making sure that they don't do things that are going to cause trouble. Uh, we had a, a fabulous crowd today. We had people actually from London, England um, that came today. We had people from Ottawa, um, the United States, Michigan, um, we had Cleveland, Ohio, we had people from right around the Bay, Tobermory Peninsula, all the way down around uh, through Collingwood and Midland, up to Perry Sound and back around to the Little Current. We had First Nations people here today, we had uh, three mayors of uh, municipalities around the coast of uh, Georgian Bay. We had uh, many, many concerned citizens, both residents and seasonal residents. Just a, a wonderful mix of people that came out today and, and heard a lot of information, got a lot of uh, ideas about things that they really didn't understand before, that they maybe had heard in some cases even the wrong things before and, and suddenly today they started to see what the real information is. So, yeah, Our role as a charity is to really make sure that we're providing information that can allow people to make informed decisions. We're not directing people what decisions to make, we're, we're informing them as to what the information is so that they can be um, thoughtful in how they actually go about structuring their responses to those, uh, those issues. So as a charity, again, we, we can't um, tell people what to do. We can only provide people with the information. But our role is that there's, uh, there's such an abundance of information that's out there that's difficult to digest. And we need to actually simplify it in some cases or, or uh, structure it in certain ways so that people can just simply understand the good side, the bad side, and make a balanced opinion from that information. And I think today this uh, presentation and the group of speakers that we had really allowed people to see on both sides of the issue um, exactly what was going on out in the Bay and, and starting to understand the stresses that exist and the threats that exist and how to, how to respond to those. So the takeaway that people will have uh, going away from an event like this is an ability to talk about the issues um, factually and intelligently. And when they go and talk to their um, neighbors or when they go and share that information with their local councillors at the municipal level or at the provincial level or at the federal level, they'll be able to understand the issues and make cogent arguments in order to, to get those people educated too. So we were fortunate enough today to have three uh, municipal um, mayors here and a number of uh, you know, councillors from other um, municipalities. 
and just providing those people even with the opportunity to talk to each other and talk to scientists and talk to some uh, passionate uh, advocates for the Bay, I think, is an important piece of, uh, of work that we've done today. So uh, we had a, a great day. It was a good event and lots of great comments coming back. So we're happy that uh, things went so well. Yeah, the next part for the, the Georgian Bay Forever, we'll actually um, be looking at uh, finalizing our summer programs. And a lot of uh, what we talked about today, as far as the threats and stresses go, we're starting to design programs that will assess some of those threats, assess some of those strength, um, um, uh, stressors on the environment and actually look at some remedial projects. We've got uh, some plans in, uh, uh, that we've submitted to some of the municipalities around first ever remedial projects in certain areas um, because we really want to take the research that we've got and the knowledge that we've been building over the years and actually now start to apply that to make things better and to actually show that we can restore and we can enhance and we can protect these areas. So it's just more work, more of our, uh, our work as usual, but it's all good. So.